Welcome back to Honor Bound, Redemption of the New Guard. I almost said Dyson with Death. It took me a minute. <laughs> um, so, last we saw our heroes, we barely survived a scrape with some nasty goblins and a bugbear. And uh, Fenric and I loose. are hanging out. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. By the way, by the way, guys, be, before before I forget this, you should all go and vote on the INTO thing in chat. Go oh, and yeah. Vote. You should go to http oh. colon slash slash intl.gg and vote and from vote each distinct IP address that you have for Quibu. I already, I already voted today. Good. <laughs> Good. Just just do it Tuesday if you have, if you have more more things, more more IPs available. Right. Anyway, so, you guys we're in this have game. I think go. we should wait i think we should take a short rest where we are that sounds great i'm kind of tired i won't be awake yeah. for three hours for the record yeah should sodar shouts kind of shouts glory back so are you guys okay yeah get your ass back here sodar you're a little you bitch sometimes <laughs> he moves inside and uh like comes to you guys and says well i wasn't i couldn't be very helpful without any weapon or armor yeah, we could have given you weapons, but you said, No, I can't help you in this battle. I'm going to go hide. Probably like I hide when my friend Gumbersnatch got taken. He kind of, he kind of ignores you and just sits down and starts resting. So let's, let's wait in this room. Drag the dwarf in. Okay, so you rest for, what, one hour? or I'm going to rest for one hour, and then I'm going to use my second wind at that point. Do you just have unlimited yeah. HP with that? No, no, no don't I do. You? Yes, indeed. That's you you can use you need to you can use your hit dice if you haven't or no you you have yeah, but you can just use that. Use... I yeah. but I have a second wind which is a fighter ability that I can regain yeah. d10 plus my level. What? It's yeah. per rest. So does does use his um nine. So every day you can be at full hp if you just like chill for a couple hours. Exactly. Every day I get once an hour. I mean if I'm resting yeah. I can once an hour use that and then we've got we've all got our Hit dice. All right, I'm so gonna use, 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 use a hit dice. Yeah, I'm using one of my my only hit die. So it's D6 plus con. For me, that is D8 plus. I say it. D8. Is it plus con when you use your hit dice? Yeah. Yep. Okay. D8 plus one. Okay. And oh, so there. So seven. Oh, I'm at full. So the uh, like raises guess, himself up as well and says, "Oh, that was, that was mighty really refreshing. Oh, finally back." Mm, he switches. And here's says, here's some a short rest while you were chained to that post. Yeah, you're really bad, dude. <laughs> he he says there were. I was just say that goblins are not the kind of creatures that forget about you for an hour. Really. They didn't forget about you for a single hour. How long have you been trapped here, by the way? Every 59 minutes, I came and smacked him up, upside the head a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's at least get him a scimitar. Yeah, we can get you a yeah. goblin scimitar if you need. And then, uh, actually, he, the bugbear had a morning star. Let's get him the morning star. Whichever one you want, dude. He and then we'll and search for his equipment. The morning star. And says, well, let's go... Um, let's go see... Uh, what's in the back? There shouldn't be any more of them left. Well, why don't you stay here and guard our unconscious dwarven friend, Peter Vern, and uh, we'll go search those other areas. You know, just in case there's I... something dangerous. I don't want you to die of fright. She looks at you with, um, and like, no, and shakes his head. Okay, I guess I will be one. You... You take the wind of this one. I'm going to wait here with Peter. I give a Fenrik a, yeah, that's what's up, nod. <laughs> and I would like to actually come back to this area where we initially rec uh, rescued Sildar and go up here and see what the fuck's up on this platform. Uh, there's literally just a, uh, a bedroll, a bigger bedroll on the ground and uh, another cooking fire. It seems like the bigger goblin was spending his time here rather than down with the other goblins. Besides that, only like two star mites, and that's it. Hmm. Okay, so there's nothing of value there. Yep, nothing of value. Okay, um, and I, we, I, we've already searched this lower area as well, right? 
Uh, yeah, that's basically just again like bed the cooking bed, the right. chains there, and like the dead carbon bodies. Right. If you want to take anything from them, um, I'll take the. I guess we take the high road then, Ryan. Yeah. Yeah, the way that crosses over Let's the bridge and follow that. Okay, so you get to the Twin Pools Cave. The cavern is uh, half filled with only one large pool now, and now a waterfall high in the eastern fall feeds the pool, which drains out the western end of the chamber to form the stream that flows out of the cave mouth below. Low filled stone walls serve as a dams holding the water. A wide exit stands to the south, while two small passages lead west. The sound of the waterfall echoes for the cavern, making it difficult to hear. So, how big is this room? I did. I got a picture of a waterfall and some noise, but I don't understand the um, shape of the room. Yeah, give me one second. So, uh, this is like basically the bridge. Continues on over here, and this is the twin pools cave. Waterfall, and this is how big it is, and it continues up. Like there's this path of stairs coming up. Are you guys uh, light disappears if I fall unconscious? So you guys are like walking around okay. in the dark. Oh no, actually the uh, yeah, you're yeah, find you some don't. torches. I don't know, but just, <laughs> I, I, or I have light. some candles I can light. Okay, yeah, okay. Make, we'll make a note. Torch, your candles. So you're traveling with candles? Okay. Yeah, I uh, go. I leave my candles on the dry ground, and I go search behind the waterfall. Okay, you search behind the waterfall, and there's there's nothing there. Well, that was it's just dramatic. just yeah, right. sheer magic face. All right. Uh, I look at Fenric in the candlelight, and pause for a moment, admiring the the shape of his face, the the curve <laughs> of his jaw. Er, he certainly is such a a handsome human. How unusual! He really is. Huh. All right, so I step up the staircase into this new chamber. Okay, so um, in this new chamber, you see it's this is like the the little crack where there's well. So there's like a big chamber over here. Seems to be the the last one. Nothing else behind this. I'm confused. Wasn't this the dog chamber down here? Yeah, that was the dog chamber, but I told you before there's a little crack going up. Okay. And the wall leading to another room. Alright, whatever. Um, sacks and crates of rooted provisions are piled up on the south end of this large cave. To the west, the floor slopes towards a narrow opening that descends into darkness. Darkness right there. And a large opening leads north down to a set of natural stone steps. The wall of the falling water echoing behind you. So, so this basically, is the staircase. This is the steps up in the top right. Uh, this is this is the staircase right here. That's just just the waterfall. Okay. And and up here you can see a couple of like crates of provisions. Uh, and you do you, you um, see the weird sign on them? Like there's a blue shield with a lion on with a lion on top of it. Do we recognize it? Um, no, we don't recognize it, but you rec you just see it because it's um, it's weird. You haven't seen this in any of the, of the other crates. Can you describe it more thoroughly? Uh, give me one second, I will. So it's a sign shaped like a wooden shield with a blue lion painted on top of it. A uh, blue lion is oh. roaring. Is glowing? Lion. Roaring. A roaring lion. Oh, <sighs> <laughs> and um, that's about what what's okay. here. Um, so what do you guys do? I go open all the things and look in all the other things. Okay, you you look yeah, in all the, the other things, the, and um, loot the loots. Yeah, we we loot the loots. We we open the boxes. Okay, uh, op opening boxes and boxes, you see surprise, random surprise that are not that valuable, but in one of them, seems there's something hidden. There's a little chest in an, in an, uh, bo in one of the boxes. A chest in a box? Yeah, a chest in a box. Seems this it is was ridiculous! Hidden. There's a chest <laughs> in this box! I, op I take out the chest from within the box. 
Okay. Russians must have done this, I say. <laughs> feared oh, Russian damn. goblins. Get it? Because there was the river mm -hmm. that was rushing. Yeah. Yeah. And, and they rushed in to get us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so uh, how do you open this chest? Doesn't seem to be uh, unlocked. Oh, there's a lock on it. It doesn't seem to be unlocked. Yes. Well, if it's if it doesn't seem to be unlocked, I just open it. If it is locked, I will it use is. my thieves' picks and lock it. Unlock it with them. Yeah, let's try try and do that. With your I don't know too. how that is done. I didn't see anything about. Um, I think you add your proficiency bonus to a dexterity check. It's, I think it's a dexterity check. A 1d20 plus your dex plus your proficiency. But let's check it to be sure. It might be on the basic rolls. Um. There's nothing in here about opening or picking locks. Yeah, so proficiency with these tools lets you add your proficiency bonus to any ability checks made to disarm, traps, or open locks. Yeah, but what the hell is an ability check to disarm, a trap, or open lock? Is it just a dex yeah, check? Yeah, it's, it's a dex. It's a dex check. Okay, so for me it would be d20 plus 5. Yeah, and you add your proficiency if you don't have, haven't have added to I that 5. Do, yeah. 9. Ugh. Uh. Is this the sort of thing I can just keep doing at infinitum, or is this like a once per um, level thing? It's it's not a once per level. You, um, I think you can do it again. Um, you just need to take like a bit of time with it. You need to take sure. ten minutes on it. There you go, twenty-five. Okay, so um, you take about ten minutes, and you open, you manage to open it easily, and inside you find uh, a large amount of copper pieces. Um, a hefty amount of silver pieces, uh, two potions of some kind, and a jade statuette of a frog with tiny golden orbs as eyes. I will try and pawn the statue before Fenric can see it, if that's possible. <laughs> um, Go ahead and roll a... It's my sleight of hand versus your yeah. perception. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Should I roll a perception or just passive? 21. No, no, I mean, you're not necessarily looking for it, so I think passive is the way to okay. go here. So you stash the jade statuette. Yeah, just, notes it. yeah, yeah. It's small enough to fit in. To fit in I just like toss it up a sleeve or something. Yep, that's okay. great. Okay, and how many silver pieces were there? Um, there's about six hundred copper pieces and one hundred and ten silver pieces. I guess Neil is going to be the party accountant. I told you I should be the one to account for everything. Don't yes. worry, don't worry your pretty little head about this, Mr. Fenric. I, I'm always good with that? money, and I know you're, you noble people you usually have other people count your money for you, so why don't I hold on to this for us all? Can you carry all of that? Sure. Coins only weigh 50 to the pound. Okay. So I have 12, 13, 14 pounds of coins. And what about those potions? Taking a look. Uh, well, I, I guess I could just... You know, can we tell? There's no way to too. tell what they are, is there? You can are they labeled? Them. No, not labeled. So there's no way to tell. They are just like the looking um, liquid inside of them. No, you can. They, they look the same. You can um, yeah, taste the potions same. to test yeah, them. Can. Are they the same? Yeah, they're both the same. I would okay. like to take a little nipper of one of them. You're full, aren't uh, you? Full HP. Why don't you let me take a nipper? All right. Why don't you take a nipper? Okay, uh, I, so haven't, an I haven't found... Um, Is that really a thing? You can test taste test potions to see what they do without actually using absolutely. them? Absolutely. Yep, yeah. it's a thing. It's a little broke. Not necessarily. Yeah. I mean, it seems reasonable, right? You, you take, and take you, a nipple of this potion. I, I'm and just surprised you can get such a precise idea of what potion it is on such a well, small you can be bit. like, oh, you grow a couple inches, or you yeah, gain, you feel, you feel a little healthier. or You feel revigorated and and better. So I'm going to say that the nipple just gives you one HP. I wouldn't even bad. give it anything unless I take a significant portion of the potion. Yeah, otherwise it's where you get an impression forever. of what it so does. Just, you, just, you just feel better like on this nipple you kind of like you to the best of your knowledge it is a healing potion 
you don't need to tell us that, that he gathers yeah, so much. Yeah, to the best of your knowledge. I mean, your adventures, you know what minor magical items are. I see. Okay. I relay this insight to uh, Bumbletoes or whatever his name is. And I, yeah. I, will, I will hang on to the healing potions. <laughs> okay. I don't stop him. It was just okay. the statue, the potions, and the coins, right? Yeah, yep. so you get the statue that's and all the coins, yeah. all have the healing potions. And uh, the that's what's in both boxes, right? There's one box. Okay, well, let's open the there's other only, box then. There was only one box, right? Oh, there's two boxes on there's the map. There's only there, no, there were more boxes. Like no, there were more there's boxes only than one that, chest. Right. But only one box contained the chest. The others are just surprise. Okay. That seem to have been looted for a random. For um, a random. Cabin. Are there any torches in there? Yes, there are torches in one of them. About How many five torches? torches in one five? of them. I will grab three. I'll take the other two. Okay. Oh, hell, if you're going to take two, I'll take two then. You can take three. Okay. Is there, um, what you call it? The Do we see the equipment of um, the knight? His uh, armor no. and his weapons? No. The, okay. From what you gather, like he told you that his equipment was taken as... Upon the okay. weaving of the other goblins. Alright, so if we think we've searched the chamber... Well, we'll hold on, back. we never followed that path that follows the river. We should take that that's, one. That's, that's the path. That's um, One second to make Although it clear Although we should be able to see it from the bridge. To make it, can make it clear for you, uh, the path continues on from... A, like that, and then has like the, a, a point of origin where it goes up. And there are like water things here. The water, twin poles, water. Uh, no, that's not there actually. Still, the, you have um, explored the extent of the cave. My drawing skills, I should say. Right, so, where head. does the path by the river go? It uh, links it, up with the other room. That you exactly. Were just in. It, it okay. links up with the other room. Well, I want to take that path back then and search it along the way to make sure that there's not any hidden offshoots of that path anywhere. Okay. Okay. So you you go back around that map and around that part and you find nothing. So you you should be pretty confident that you've explored the whole cave. Okay. All right. So let's go back. Let's collect the dwarf and sigil, Serge, Sybil, whatever his name is, and return to the. Yeah. Let's do that. To the cart. Yep. All right. Okay. We... Oh. Well, I mean, yeah, we should wait for the dwarf Sildar to wake up. Sildar is his name. Yeah. Should we wait in the goblin cave? I mean, unless you want to haul that dwarf's butt all the way up the hill. No, it's probably pushing it. Yeah, let's just I'm chill. I'm unconscious, but you guys should wait at the guard post to make sure no one comes back into the cave. We can't hear that. Uh, I'm going to take right a here. nap inside. We killed all the goblins. I'm just going to take a nap. Sildar can watch. He hasn't done anything useful yet. I don't necessarily need a nap, so I'll keep watch as well. Yeah. It's the middle um, of the day. Yeah, Sildar does agree to watch. Uh, you, you take your nap, and after, I think, about another hour, it's a, um, it's a fair point to say that Peter wakes up. Yep. Yay, one Peter! HP. I'm at one HP. If I take a short rest, I can roll a hit die. Um, so another hour, if you guys want to. Let's do. Let's walk back to the cart. I vote. Yeah. By the way, um, blue bumper toes. You can uh, roll a, a head dice if you haven't used that yet. He already did. I already used my head dice. Okay. Okay. Then you're okay. Yeah, he's a full. Yeah. All right. I will hand. Um, what's his name? Peter. So that a uh, healing Peter? one healing. I tell him this seems to be a healing potion. But use it wisely. Perhaps we should wait until we're in the heat of what? combat. What? You're giving that lazy Lao a healing potion? <laughs> he seems to be taking more of a beating than you are. Excuse me. Uh, Who saved your butt back there? Was it the guy hiding in the cave or was it the guy fighting by your side? Oh, no, not Sildar. Sorry, not, I said Peter, right? He said Peter. Yeah, he said Peter. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I thought you were talking to Sildar about Sildar. No, no. Oh, oh, no, that's really cool. Yeah, Peter, you should absolutely take one of these. They, they come really <laughs> handy. <laughs> I, I will take it and hold on to it in Soldar, case I need it. very weird to be at you. <laughs> Whatever, Soldar, you let his cousin get kidnapped. You were supposed to protect him. Some sort of knight you are. Wow. Your words hurt a lot, Halfwing, wow. but I did my best. I couldn't do much against 15 goblins. Clearly. 
<laughs> All right, so let's head back out to the cart. Yeah. Okay, so you you go the way around. Do you tell Soda about the the traps? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I guess it, well in the time that we're waiting because we're waiting a couple of hours I recollect all my things uh, I don't know if I can find any of my arrows but can I replace my arrows with arrows from the goblin quivers yeah you just um, I mean yeah it doesn't really matter they're just black uh, black arrows yeah I'll grab them so I'm back to full 20 arrows I make sure to pick up my bow and any of my weapons that I've dropped um, I think that's the extent of it yeah I remind Fenric to pick up his javelins, even if he already has I had them. I already all. picked them up. Yeah, okay. sure, he has them up. Cool. I'm ready okay, to. Okay, good. You get back to the oxen, who are uh, who are nice and dandy, nipping on the grass around them. Great. I will try and find my third javelin if I okay. can. It was left behind by the at the first encounter we had, and I had forgotten it. Is it still there? Yeah. Or? yeah, yeah, it's still there. It's still there. Okay. It's easy to find. Okay, so you get the javelin back. And what yeah. do you guys do then? I say we should continue on to Fandolin unless we have a better lead on. Well, what time of day is it? Can we even get to Fandolin by today? We've spent at least five hours, six hours in that cave. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's getting a bit late. So it's I'm not like sleeping in the dirt. Around. Eight. All right, yeah. fine. Everyone hop into the wagon. It's going to be a bumpy ride in the dark to Fandolin. Just cover uh, your fannies. I guess so don't the lens. Yeah. <laughs> so that says, don't worry about it. We, I, I know the road very well. Well enough to walk right into an ambush. He <laughs> cooks it, like, gives you a very cold stare. And then Look, buddy, I'm just back. saying. Didn't seem like you looked out for our friends very much. Not like these guys. Uh -huh. These guys here are awesome. They got my back all the time. Right, guys? <laughs> I just want to find I my cousins. I tried my best. I couldn't do anything more. I'm sorry if I disappointed you. Well, at least you recognize you disappointed me. Do you know why they took my cousin? <laughs> like, were they looking for something in particular? Uh, uh, yes, yes. The map he had is something big he had. They found, they found an entrance to, to a cave, to an, to an ancient cave. They say... There is, there's a relic there that he wants to find. A relic that will put Fandorin back into the map as a big and powerful city. Where is this cave? I don't know. He hasn't shown, shown me the map. He told you all about his plans, but he didn't show you the map? He just told me that he found something big, something that would put back Fandorin on the map, and something about the Forge of Spells. But besides that... Uh, all I know is simply spe speculation. Well, leave it to the dwarves to be a suspicious and untrusting lot. No, no. Standing right here. <laughs> it sounds to me like we must recover Gundren and his map if we are to save Fandolin. Well, do you have any idea where they were taken? I, uh, I have knowledge of um, something called the Kragmar Castle. These Kragmar goblins Castle. call themselves call themselves the Quagmaw, and they were some kind of a mercenary band hired by somebody. We Do you have any idea where the Quagmaw Castle is? No, but I, I think I know somebody who, who does know where Quagmaw Castle is. Are they in Fandolin? Yes. Uh, it How is actually a, 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 a good friend of mine uh, named Jarno Arbrek. He is a fellow member of my order that went to Fandolin a long time ago to try and civilize it. He 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 knows a lot about these places, and I I know something about a druid uh, that lives in the, in the forest as well. But think what the does the druid have Fandolin. to do with the missing dwarf? The druid might know the forest better than anybody else. Was Cragmore Castle in the forest? I I think so. Well, let's get to Fandolin so someone can give us more explicit directions. Also, we need to drop <laughs> off these supplies and probably rest a little bit. I I agree with you. Um, sorry, I, I do not know your name. Weren't we introduced earlier when we were all in Neverwinter together? And my brother and his brother <laughs> asked us to travel together? 
Didn't I already meet you? That's why I'm making fun of you all this I mean, much. I, I'm, yes, I'm sorry, but <laughs> I do not I do not remember your name. <sighs> my name's Mutton Bumbletoes. And these are my companions. I Fenric am to meet and you. Peter Vern. Yes, I Veneer. knew I know them too. Vernie? I <laughs> Vern. It's Vern. <laughs> Vernie. Sorry. Um he says, I'm pleased to meet you again. My name is Soda Harwinter. I'm a, I'm a member of the Rhodes Alliance and I am in, indebted to you for saving me. And I shall provide whatever help I can to save Gunjun and your other cousins, uh, Peter. I look at the rest of the party. Any of you guys know what the old alliance is? The, the uh, Rhodes Alliance? Actually, it, no, no, no. The Rhodes, the Rhodes Alliance. And you guys actually know about them because this is a um, something about the Forgotten Realms that I'm going to show to you right now. So you should be seeing it now. Yeah. It's a partnership Where? of Handouts. merchant cities founded in 1325 DR. What year is it now? Um, it's... Ah, uh, shit. I have no idea what year is this. I, I'm not sure where this adventure is placed. Well, I mean, is this like 20 years ago or like 4,000 years ago? No, no, it's um, it's like a, I think a, a hundred years uh, after this, or like a couple hundred, but not not in the thousands. It was formed to oppose the growing influence of the Black Network in the north, as well as the shadow of the views of Ammon and crawl out. The Alliance hired adventurers to work for them. Fantastic. I'm gonna buy local adventures quickly gain status as well as powerful friends. Oh, whoops! I should have been showing this to chat. Yeah. Uh, local adventures quickly gain status as well as powerful friends by helping the alliance. But just as they make enemies of the century now. So were we hired by the Lords Alliance, or were we hired by? Uh, no, you're hired Gun by Gundren. The Lords Alliance. Yeah, we're hired by Mexican. Like, okay. They want. Uh, they want to basically set Fandorin back on the map and that and their and their objectives, so that's why they're helping them. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's get to Fandolin. Yep. So we're taking that path to Fandolin. Do we encounter any difficulty along the road? Just your I mean, you're not that weary, but it's not easy at all traveling in the night. But, he, but uh, Soda knows the way, so you manage to make it there in about seven, eight hours. Okay, so we travel mostly through the night. Can I sleep in the cart? Not if you're going to. Um, oh, yeah. How are you going to keep our light up? <laughs> uh, I guess I have to stay awake then. Yeah, you kind of need There's to. There's only kind of if I get knocked. Unconscious. You have the torches. You do have the torches. So you're okay. I guess. Yeah, I guess you guys are fine for light. I can sleep. Yeah, sleep. Torches are cheap. Yeah, and okay. the copper so is sleep. wonderful. So you regain, um, you regain uh, one head dice back, and your free HP, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Uh, does it take eight hours course. to get to Fandolin? Uh, yes, yeah, it, it takes uh, yeah. seven to eight hours because it's like half a day, uh, yeah. almost. But he knows the road, so it's it, it's um, and it's night, so around there. Cool. Okay. So you make it. You make it to Fandolin. Oh, guys, Fandolin! I wasn't expecting you to go this fast. That's very nice. Why don't you, um, we're nearing the end of the session. Why don't we sort of introduce the city? Are, yeah. yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move you to the map of Fandolin, which is a very nice map. And the rotted track emerges from a wooden hillside, and you catch your first glimpse of Fandolin. The town consists of 40 or 50 simple rock buildings, some built on an old fieldstone foundations, more old ruins, crumbling stone walls covered in ivy and briars, surround the newer houses and shops, showing how this must have been a much larger town in the centuries past. Most of the newer buildings are set on the sides of the car track, which widens into a muddy main street of sorts as it climbs toward the ruined manor house on the hillside at the east of the side of the town. As you approach, you see children uh, still praying in the town green and townsfolk um, still moving around the streets, even at this time in the night. Many, many people look up at you as you approach, but all return to Dubai. 
Because people so are this late at night? Yeah, those people are quite still kind of moving uh, this it's way like at the night. It's the wee hours of the morning, isn't it? Uh, yep. Like the sun is, is close to shining again. And Sodo says, accuse more at ease, my friends, he says, with the secure lodgings. I'm told the very local inn uh, is quite, quite quaint. What's it called? Quaint, I scowl. Stonehill Inn. Stonehill? Is it the best accommodation we can arrange in this town? Uh, from my knowledge, yes, that is the best accommodation we can have. Very well. We will sleep in the sleep in the mud with the locals. Doesn't sound like a very comfortable inn. Stone Hill? I don't want to sleep on a hill of stones. Uh, it, one it's, it's on Hold the on. top of a hill. Made of stone. Never mind. <laughs> Uh, one thing you do notice, uh, I w because of your passive perception, is that as you pass the Rhineshield coaster, you realize it's the same shield that was on those boxes. Do we actually pass Shield coaster at all? Yeah. Because if because we come in from you... Tribor Trail, we wouldn't actually go near it. Uh, no, because this this is basically the entrance of it, and as you go here to get inside, you see on like the other side of the road where there's lights up. Yeah, and it's you like see across, the, see the thing. it's across the courtyard. We okay. would totally see that. Exactly. Right. Well, I don't know if in the it. light of dawn. Okay. Yep. Uh, okay. Well, huh. we have light shining from us twenty feet in every direction. So that's true. Didn't, we are glowing. I guess we didn't we didn't bother to take all those supplies, did we? No, we didn't take the shield or the supplies. But remember, they shield. are. It was a sigil. sigil. It was a sigil. But man, where they are, we could like yeah. tell them. Yeah, yeah. It's, it'll probably be something good to follow up on tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. For now, okay. I need rest. We all need rest and experience points. <laughs> experience points. <laughs> exactly. So does anything? Rest and so are we able to get rooms at the inn without trouble? Or? Yes. Yes, you're able to get rooms at the inn uh, without trouble. And uh, besides I assume that, that, does Sildar take the ox and do whatever it needs to do? No, he says that he'll put it in the barn and you can take care of it tomorrow. Okay. And uh, he pays he pays for your rooms and for your um like for, uh, for your food for the night and says that tomorrow I shall give uh you enough compensation for saving my life. How much money does he pitch out for our foods? Like what sort of meals are we getting? Cuz it's broken down <laughs> to squalid, poor, modest, comfortable, wealthy and aristocratic and yeah. I want to know what this guy's given what us. Where are, where are these prices? Uh, page 19. 19, let's see. You get comfortable um, food. We're probably limited by what the inn actually provides, not yeah. by what he's willing to yeah. for. I just wanted to make so, sure that he wasn't get, like you know giving us poor foods and <laughs> no, it's comfortable, comfortable food. All right, all right. He seems to not give any. He seems to not give any money. He just like talks to the guy and he serves you guys and gives you rooms and all. Um, I take that as an opportunity to order excessive drinks and more food than I can really eat. <laughs> okay, That's, you you are served that. You are served that. Yes. They kind of they kind of look at. Uh, no, soda. I can take third dinners. I promise. I'm a I'm a halfling. <laughs> I can do it! Just bring <laughs> another chicken! Bring another chicken, guys! <laughs> they kind of look at him and he just nods. And he, they give you how much food you can eat. You burst at the end of it. <laughs> you unbuckle God, your belt excellent. and you almost fall asleep on that I chair. I give him a sly grin and a slow nod of approval after I finish eating like my last meal when I can't move and my stomach hurts and I feel like I'm like, going to explode. Yeah, I go like he a, smiles at you. not so bad yeah. after and all. And do we each have our own in-rooms? You each have your own rooms. Awesome. Aww. Awesome. Okay, so let's do XP, guys. So for shit, uh, for that first encounter there, uh, Book tells me gave you 75, and that's a four man, so uh, rounded it up 100 for that, for the first encounter. The first four goblins. Wait, hold on. Why do you need No, because um, seven, it's 50 per goblin, so. It's three of them. If it's 75 oh, for four, it should be one, 125 for three. One. Because 75 uh -huh. times four divided by three is. Nope, as 100. I'm crazy. 50. Yeah. Yep, that's what I'm saying. Yep. You get the 100. For sure. that to that's total, right? Divided yeah, that's by total for that less. first, that, that first thing. Um, no, that's each for each of you. Okay. So we get 100. 
plus. Yeah, and then we yeah. have no, how many going to be six six goblins, then another four, another Hold on, you're forgetting the two out front of the two. cave. Yeah, so it was two, four, and six. So it's plus, plus twelve of them plus black bear. And yeah. five wolves actually. You know, four wolves, yeah. yeah. Four, wolves. four wolves. And what else? Uh, and the big goblin. Is the uh, goblin still leader different? There's yeah. a sub goblin no, no, and then no. the big no, goblin. No, not really. Uh, and let's let's calculate that. So that's fifty times thirteen. Let's bring out the calculator. Six fifty. Um plus what's the bug bear gives you guys two hundred. Okay. Eight fifty. And the wolves? And the wolves. Let's see, where are the wolves? Should be in the, problem, problem. In the Yeah, it's here. I'm just I just need to find it. Wolf. Uh each of them gives you fifty. So, so one thousand and fifty. One thousand and fifty. Divided by three is three hundred and fifty plus one hundred is four hundred and fifty each. Yeah, so you guys Damn. level up to level two. And we're like halfway to level three. Yeah, yep. halfway to level three. Well it was a big fight, so it was a very big fight. Okay. You think your quick thinking and agility allow you to move and act quickly so you can take a bonus action at the end of your turns in combat. This can also be used to take dash, disengage, or hide. Score. Basically Super the same score. thing. Action surge. You can push yourself beyond your normal limits for a moment. On your turn, you can take one additional action on top of your regular action and a possible bonus action. I so get a ton of stuff. You guys got shortchanged. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I get channel divinity. You can channel divine energy directly from your deity, using that energy to feel one of two magical effects, turn undead or preserve life. Both effects require to use an action and present your holy symbol. When you use your channel divinity, you choose which effect to create. You must then finish your short or long rest to use your channel divinity again. Turn undead. When you use turn undead, each undead that can see or hear you within 30 feet of you must make a wisdom saving throw, DC 13. If the creature fails at saving throw, it is turned for one minute or until it takes any damage. And it basically has to run away from me until it's better. And then preserve life. Choose one or more creatures within 30 feet of you to heal. Then distribute up to 10 hit points among them. Score. Nice. Yeah, that's really um, nice. You guys want to roll some HPs? And extra spells. Yep, let's do our HP. All right. Who's up first? I got it. I got it. D8 plus 1. Drum roll, please. Uh, 3. Alright, I'll go D10 plus 2. 8. Yes. Good. It's normally just con, right? But I'm dwar a dwarf, so I get plus one. Do you? Yep. Uh, I don't know. For, if it's yeah, dwarven toughness, sure. your hit point uh, you, maximum you do increases get, by you... one. And increases by one every time you gain a level. So it's just another plus one. So. I don't want to roll. Four, I rolled a two. So. <laughs> hey, it's all right. I rolled a what's two your, as well. What's your con? Oh, my con's actually plus con? two. I lied. Yeah, so, so you, you should have, have, five. have five. So that's five. So I'm at 16 total HP. Whatever, I'm at 12. Mm -hmm. You guys are all... 20. 20. Nice, and remember that now you all have two head dice. So oh, yeah. whenever, yeah, whenever you wake up, you will have... Um, if you've already expended your head dice, you only have one head dice because you will only cover half of them. Uh, but actually um, for... But I think when we level up, we get a new one, right? After uh, you get the new one. I'm going to say you get, you get both of them because you did rest uh, somewhat and just doing what one of one of them back. Yeah, uh, we kind of took a long rest on the wagon. Yeah, yeah. Or, like a, a bunch you, you of get, You get both of, uh, your, both of your head dice tomorrow okay. back when you wake up. Um, okay. Are we sure second wind doesn't take a hit die to use? It does not. Yes. It, it's a fire yeah. only action. Yeah, it's just super fucking broken because you can just heal forever and ever and ever. I mean, once per short rest. Yeah, so but once per hour you gain a lot of HP. If you have time to sit down and rest. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but it's, I mean, it's, it's sort basically... of. It's meant to make it so you can deal without pr having a priest in the party if you actually absolutely yeah, need to. Yeah, I, I get it. Yeah, but and it's uh like it's it was designed for this as well, but because like they were they were throwing a lot of yeah. stuff at you. And yeah, this designed 4th edition and 3rd edition before 3.5. Yeah. 
Yeah. Except only fighters get it now. Yeah. Instead of everyone having second wins. Yeah. Is there anything else we need to do on level up? Because I don't. Our proficiency bonus no. doesn't change to level five. No. No. I, I think get to, that's. I get, I get to cast an extra spell every day, but that's not something I need to do. It's just something I need to remember. Yeah. And it's not no. until yep. fourth level that our stats get higher. Yeah. No. That's okay. that'll, that's always been like that. I think like every fourth level you get the stats modifier. Well, well maybe since get, third. I get second level spell slots at third. That'll be fun. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Unfortunately, we don't have any. Um, we don't have any uh, feats that would be nice. Well, we'll get yeah. them eventually, I'm sure. Yeah, we will get them eventually. All right, Players so this, is, this has yeah. been the uh, first episode of Honorbound, Redemption of the New Guard. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think, I know I had a good time. I don't know about the rest of you all. Yeah, I had a great fun. time. Yeah, I'm really, the new edition. I like the new edition. I like playing with it. It's fun. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we'll be doing this every Sunday for the foreseeable future um, at noon. We may have to adjust schedules and times, but I'll do my best to keep you guys up to date. We will, of course, skip the Sunday of the marathon stream because noon is when is we stop. Is the next stopped. Sunday? No, it's not until the oh. 17th of oh. August. We're a few yeah. weeks out. Um, and Ryan, did you want to do Dicing with Death tomorrow? I think we're shooting for tomorrow at 6. Is that? Yeah, I... Can we do like 6 to 8? Like just do a short one? Sure. Cool. Yeah. All right, we'll, we'll do short Dicing with Death tomorrow, and uh, I'll see you guys all around for then. So, uh, Just one thing before we... They want to say? Yeah. yeah uh, shout-outs. We, we do a Q&A, guys, on my channel right after this. I'm going to start it up, so if you have any questions about uh, this, this group or the game itself, like 5th edition, we'll just play random indie games and we'll talk to chat. So if you want to join us there, you can. And anybody here wants to join? Um, I have got some stuff I need to attend to, so I, I will can. not be joining in. You you can or you can't? I can. Okay, good. Nice. And we have uh, Justin with us. Yeah. So, yeah, just on my channel. We started in like 10 minutes or something like that. Cool. See you guys later. Bye-bye. All right. See Thanks ya. for watching.